Hello everyone, we have special news. This is Sky. And this is Air. Apparently we ran into quite an interesting situation today. We ran into a super creeper, which bombed the hell out of me. Got chased by an army of zombies, two of them villagers. And we contained and cured both villagers, if you could show us the way. Oh uh, yeah, they're right in here, in their little casa. No. He, don't even open that trap door. He's, he's being an intelligent villager. Okay, I'm gonna shut it. I'm gonna push him off to the side. All right, come on down. So we're we're here with Brad Pitt and uh, Emma Stone. The twins. Who who thought? Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I mean they are opposite genders, but apparently this guy is selling Ender Eyes, and this guy's selling. Oh, he's got a good trade. Trade. Look at his trade, man. That's a really really good trade. Ooh, I like him. Let's keep he's, him. That's like that's the top of the trades too. You can either get two, three, or four, and we got four for one emerald. That's insane. Yeah. So yeah, basically, we went through hell and a half to get these guys. We both died trying to get these guys. Should I tell them how I died? Yeah, sure. I was, um, I, I'm not even exaggerating here. I shot off about 14 skeletons. Well, I didn't shoot them. I stabbed them and had my bow on me. And uh, then I got overrun by about eight zombies. And then Sky got blown up by this supercharged creeper. Which we were trying to get a creeper head by making it bomb our creeper, but that didn't work out too well. Uh, no. Did not. So should we show them some of the more progressive steps we've taken in our life? Since yeah, been... sure. Let's do that. All right, perfect. Um, we're not gonna go through that door. That door is banned. Just up this way, please, folks from the YouTubes. And uh, it's just over here. So, as you can see, uh, there was some ruins that were discovered near us that we'll check out in a minute. But um, they look pretty hostile to me. It looks like they once had a moat here, but it dried up and. Looks pretty mossed over. But down here, we're going to go to something more familiar that I showed you guys last episode. This guy stares off in the distance blankly. Sorry, I'm being multitasking at this point. Okay, where'd you go? Uh, chicken farm, man. Uh, Mines. Okay, on my way. So, we kind of have something a little bit more brutal than last time. And you might ask, what could be more brutal than dropping a bomb at about 600 newborn chickens? Well, we're gonna burn them alive, but it didn't exactly work. But we'll fix it in a little bit. So Speaking right this way. Burning. We need to cook fish. So basically, the basic premise are there's about 60 chickens in here, and there's a hopper underneath them, and then the hopper feeds into this um, morbid room. We'll call it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not. Down here. Down here. And basically, the way it works is um, well, first of all, shout out to. I, I just forgot his name, bro. I was going to shout out to him. You're not good with shout outs if you cannot remember the people. Yeah, <laughs> probably good for Unsubscribe, minus two. No, don't even say that. <laughs> but basically, the way it works are... Thank you, bro. We turn this on, and as long as it's not filled to the brim, it, it just pisses out baby chickens, more or less. And what's supposed to happen is when they grow up, they're supposed to jump into the lava, cook. It doesn't really work, so we're going to turn it off. Um... But they're supposed to cook, and every time you hear them squawk, a new chicken's being born, which is... So we got like three or four, which is kind of interesting. But basically, once they're born, and they quote-unquote jump, which doesn't work yet, we'll probably just end up dropping a bucket of lava on them for three seconds. Um, but down this way, Sky. Through this door here, the hides and feathers, which will be automatically cooked through lava, will go into this hopper here and be fed down into this chest. But right now, we only have 62 eggs in the chest. But eventually, it'll be full of cooked chicken chicken and feathers, rather. So that's the first new thing. Should we take him to the skeleton farm and show him the second new thing? Sure. So basically, I found a skelly farm solo and set this thing up while Sky was working the other day. Um, I figured we might as well get something, some way of getting EXP uh, until we build the mob farm, which will not happen this episode, sadly. Um, but over here, Sky, we'll show him how it works. Should we run through the whole system like we did last time? Yay, water rides. All right, let me just um, let me just set this thing up for uh, people then. Apparently, I put down some string there or something. Who cares? Um, all right, let me torch it and turn it off. Let me just get on. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna act like skeletons. And the basic thing that skeletons do, or any other mob for that matter, is when they're in water, they jump. So they'll join me, Sky. So all I'm gonna do is hold down spacebar and not even move the mouse or keyboard. And this is just what happens when you have uh, a bunch of stupid monsters. 
And this system, it's, it's pretty much um, a, a replica, if you so to say, of Zisto's the water system, to whereas they kind of just float and they get pushed sideways, no matter what side they're on. If they're on one side, it'll push them over to the next, which will push them down. So, left or right, it doesn't matter. Like, left, I just got pushed onto the right side and pushed down. And, uh, basically, they just kind of do their little jumping thing. That's how they elevate through the sides of water. And then they fall down 23 blocks till the point where they're one hit dead with your fists. I'm going to die if I don't, like, take care of business. All right, good. Um, but, yeah, that's the basic gist of it. So, uh, if you guys have any questions about how to make one of those, I will make a tutorial of it. All I have to do is ask. And I think now is the time where we siege the castle. What do you think? Uh, I think we should do that next time. Next time? Yes, next time. All right. For now, I just wanted to bring up that big news that we just did. Yeah, I can understand that. All right, so, well, um, I guess you did the intro. Are you ready for the outro? Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Arrow. And this is Sky. And uh, we'll see you shortly on when we combine two different clips. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the whole sieging of the castle.